Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the people's show. Check the post of Husker Nation. Brought to you the Nebraska Spine Hospital. I hope you find folks at home, you good people of Husker Nation, are having a great week. All right, happy Friday, and have a phenomenally phenomenal weekend. Now, there's a position on a football team that tends to get overlooked a little bit, and that's the tight end position. Okay, and I don't know that I've ever specifically done a show about tight ends before. So, I'm as guilty as anybody. Wide receivers, I've already talked about them. The offensive line, the big uglies, I'm obviously going to talk about them. The defense, the running backs, the quarterbacks, even special teams, which is one-third of the game. Tight ends. Here's the deal. We we need to have some sort of a quarterback battle to decide who the legit starter is going to be this year, just like we did last year. Whether it's Adrian, who's obviously been here for quite a while, knows the system. Whether it's Logan, who's a young and up-and-coming talented guy, as is Adrian is, or somebody else in that room. Okay, whoever it is. Okay, Adrian's trying to find his footing once again. Logan, if he's a young guy or if it's somebody else, a tight end can be a quarterback's best friend. Right, there are some guys on this list that I'm going to run down. 6'8", 6'7", 6'5", 6'6", holy Moses Malone. You want to talk about a quarterback who is best friend is this big tight end, a big target. Now, some tight ends can be difficult for linebackers to cover. They're not the best in coverage all the time, and sometimes a tight end can give a linebacker some nightmares, a la Matt Harrion. Or you try to put a DB or safety on him, all of a sudden this 6'8 guy is just too big. It's like giving it to a center, being guarded by a point guard in basketball down low. It's a huge advantage, can be a quarterback's best friend, especially in a short yardage situation, third down, fourth down, goal line situation. A big target, along with a running game and a few other things, can be a quarterback's best friend, and the tight end comes into play. Also in the running game, in this zone running scheme okay, that the, the Huskers like to run, an athletic offensive lineman and an athletic tight end can get a defensive lineman out of position, and boom, there's a huge running lane right there. Now, Jack Stahl will not be back with the Huskers this year. He chose to move on. Wish him nothing but the best. He started for the Huskers the past couple of years. So here are three guys to keep an eye on this year. Talented guys. Some of these guys I've talked about before. Okay, I'm going to give you one name at the end. who might be a bit of a dark horse, a bit of a, a long-term development. Could turn into a big-time player down the road for the Huskers. The first guy I'm going to mention all right, Austin Allen, six foot eight, 260 pounds, the number one recruit in the state of Nebraska when he came out of high school. He's from Aurora, Nebraska. I've talked about him before. I mean, he could easily be the height on an NBA basketball team. I, I will never forget. I was dwarfed. I, I'm coming around the corner. We're playing the, uh, the Saints down in New Orleans the night before with the hotel. I come around the corner. Bam! I run into this guy's chest with my eyes, and that doesn't happen to me very often. I'm like, who the, who the heck are you? I step back, and there's another guy just as tall, just as tall. I'm like, who the heck are these guys? The last couple guys had on Utah Jazz shirts. It was a freaking Utah Jazz team. People ask me, why didn't you play basketball? Why? Because I'd be a short, fat guard that couldn't dribble well. Austin Allen is a guy who could be on an NBA basketball team based on his height. They have no idea his basketball ability. My point is, if you want to talk about a big target, 6'8", 260 pounds, he could potentially be a quarterback's best friend. He's a talented guy. It's time for him to step up and show us his ability because he's got it. Kurt Raftall. All right, six foot seven, 245 pounds, came in the same year as Austin. He's going to be a junior just like Austin. Another guy who's got a lot of ability. It's time for this ability to come to fruition because they have it. You know, I can't help but wonder. You put Austin on the right, you put Kurt on the left, ace formation, 12 personnel, one running back, two tight ends. Man, the Patriots had a lot of success with that. I know the tight ends were Gronkowski and Hernandez. Um, I'm just saying, these guys have ability. It's time for them to step up. I believe they have that potential. Another guy, not going to surprise you, freshman, 6'5", 220 pounds, Thomas Fedoni, a very confident individual. Love the confidence. Can't wait to see it on the field. A long-term guy, a dark horse to keep your eye on. He's a true freshman, okay, from Creighton Prep High School, A.J. Rollins, 6'6", another guy with athleticism and big height, 220 pounds. Got to get in that weight room and develop just a little bit. Get that strength. Keep your eye on him as he develops as a football player. Now, sometimes guys get upset when I in, in, in certain position rooms if I don't mention their name. Here's the deal. I support your right to make plays. I, I root for your right to make plays. And if you make plays, I'll mention your name. I don't care who it is. Make plays, I'll mention everybody's name. Go Big Red and always remember to throw the ball. Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.